In this lecture, we'll be taking a look at the math function in JavaScript. So math function basically provides us with various methods. Like over here, we can see a max method, which gives you the maximum or the highest number in the list that we have. So here we are saying, give me the maximum number from this range of numbers that we have provided and then log it into the console. Similarly, if you want to find out a minimum we have math.min and the same value now picks up the minimum value from this list. Similarly, if you want to apply this on an array. So here in ES5 syntax, we have to make use of the apply method and we have two alternatives. For instance, if I want to get the min value from this array, I would say math.min.apply and then either pass math or null and then the array. Now this one in ES6, we have spread operator to our rescue. So here we are saying math.min and then spread operator and then the array name. Similarly for max as well, we are doing it like this. Now the next set of methods that we have are round, seal and floor. So round basically rounds to the nearest integer. So here it will round to one and here it will round to two. Then we have seal. So if I say 3.7, it will give me four. And here if I say floor 4.04, .04, it will give me four. So seal basically is used to round up a number up to the nearest integer. And floor is used to round a number down to the nearest integer. Then we have absolute. And this method returns the absolute value of a number. So here it is just return, going to return four. Then we have math.random, which can be used to generate random numbers. And here we have created a method which will generate a random number from this range, 1 to 20. So 1 and 20 are min and max values that we have passed to this method. And then we are logging the number in the console. Now here, if I go ahead and show you the log, you'll notice maximum number in the range was 10 and then minimum was 1. Similarly, the same was used for arrays as well. So here we have 1 and 10. And then using the spread operator, we have min and max. And if I just scroll it a bit here, you'll notice when I'm saying 1.3, it is printing 1. And when I'm saying 1.7, rounding it to 2. Then seal gives me for 3.74. And floor for 4.04 .04 gives me 4. And for absolute, we have 4 and a random number is 30 in between 1 and 20. So these are some of the methods that math library has in JavaScript, which are quite useful whenever you are working with data sets in JavaScript.